In this blended tutorial I will show you how to create a simple wine glass using a curve. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, I'm going to create another wine glass from um, scratch so the one I create now may not look quite the same as the one at the beginning of this tutorial. I've also aimed this tutorial at people who know a little bit about working in Blender rather than complete beginners, though hopefully most of what I do, someone who's a relative novice can follow. Okay, so I'm gonna just hit delete and get rid of this cube. Then shift A and next to curve, I'm actually gonna select the path. Then tab to go into edit mode, one on my numbers pad to go into front view and I'm going to rotate this on its Y axis by 90 degrees by typing Y, sorry R, followed by Y and then 90. Okay. Now I'm, I'm actually going to select this um, move button here. Um, but first of all, I think what I'll do in this instance is I'm going to just select this um, top versus here and I'm actually going to press E followed by X and I'm going to extrude this along so it's about one and a half squares along top right hand side yes, take it. if you look at the top you've got some changing numbers so we'll just make this about 1.5 so basically it's sort of one and a half squares from the middle here. Oh, and another thing I forgot to do is um, if I just press A, what I want to do is make this this straight line here. So I've pressed A to select everything. I just want to drag this along. So it's about one small square, about 0.1 from this blue line. Okay, so after dragging this along, let's uh, move this. So that's using shift and my middle mouse. I'm going to select this one up here and press G for grab. And I'm actually going to move this so it's again one and a half roughly. Or one and one and a uh, a bit of one and a half these largest squares and then just to square it up or hold my left mouse button down do a box select and then press S followed by X and then zero and that will mean that these are in line okay so that's not looking too bad now the one thing I when I'm working with curves I tend to um, flip from edit to um, object mode so I'm just going to press tab just to see what this looks like so it's not looking too bad tab to go back into edit mode so I'll select this vertex here and maybe drag this down a bit and again tab to have a look yeah, that's looking pretty good back to edit mode now I want to tighten this up here so what I'll do here is I'll select this next vertex and just drag it up a bit and that's made yeah it's not a bad curve there and tab to go into edit mode now I could if I wanted to so box select this one then right click and subdivide and that will tighten up this curve even more um, but I think that's too tight so what I'm going to do is go back to edit mode and then press ctrl Z ctrl Z again until I'm back to the point that I started at okay now the next thing because obviously this needs to be be solid the reason I use curves for this sort of shapes is I can get a better kind of shape than using solids and solidifying them. 
um, because most glasses, as you probably notice, is they're not uniform. So you get a glass maybe thicker here than it is at the top. So what I would do here is I'll select this top vertice and press E followed by X and I'll just drag this along a bit. That's fine. And then press E for extrude and I'll drag this down to so it's just over the blue line or the blue Z axis and then I'll with this one selected hold down shift and select this one here so this line selected and then right click and subdivide I'm going to select the middle vertice and press G and grab this over until I've got something that looks relatively uniform and again tab to see what it looks like it's not looking too bad back to edit mode again maybe a box select on this and drag this up a bit and again object mode it's not looking too bad maybe I could smooth this out so edit mode and with these selected up here right click subdivide and that's looking a bit better drag this one down a bit should round it off a bit better okay that's not looking too bad back to edit mode and this time I'm going to select this bottom one here vertices and I'm going to press E X and drag this so it's about I don't know one and a half squares along again and then I'll draw a box select using my left mouse button right click and subdivide select the middle one here drag it down and here I'm going to select this one and drag it over and again maybe go into object mode it's not looking too bad back to edit mode I'll grab this one and drag this down okay then E followed by Z bring this down box select here these two here right click and subdivide and then select the middle one maybe just drag it up a bit try not to go too far so I'll just make it just about in line with the one above and again I'll select this one here and then EX drag it over so it's just over the blue line And select this one here so I've got two selected right click subdivide and in this instance here I think I'll select these two here subdivide select the middle one and then using the red arrow drag this over so that it's near the edge and again if you want you can always check your shape by going into object mode so that's looking okay back to edit mode and I'll just select this one here on the blue line drag it up a bit and I'll tighten this curve here by selecting this one and this one right click subdivide select the middle one and drag this over 
tighten up the curve in this area here okay tab to go into object mode and decide make sure you're happy with what you've got yeah you could if you wanted to go back to edit mode maybe I don't know box select this here let's move it up a little bit and tab to go into object mode I think I'll just go with this for now so in object mode once you're happy with your sort of shape that you've got select object then come down to convert and select mesh and press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode again then A to select everything once everything's selected press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view and then select spin Uh, this should come up is um, on the spin on the Z axis if you've changed this for some reason just make sure that Z is selected and for this to work what you need to do is place your pointer over the plus sign here and just move the uh, plus sign so you get it starts to spin and then just down here you'll see a little box that says spin select the little arrow and I'm actually going to increase the steps here by 64 this makes for a smoother um, shape and then the angle I need to change this to 360 360 and hit return and just to prevent yourself from making any mistakes just select the um, select select box button here and then press A to select everything and what I will do here is right click and next to merge vertices select by distance and just to tidy things up I'll use this little arrow to the right where of um, zero zero one and select that and that should clean up quite a few of the vertices that you don't need so it's actually at 1.01 I could take it up again if I wanted to and remove even more vertices um, in fact I think that's what I'll do so I should have tidied everything up main reason is that you don't want um, anything more than one vertex in the middle here and lining up to the z-axis can always work out too well so that's it's not perfect I must admit this space probably could be a bit narrower and I could have dragged this up but that'll do for this tutorial okay I'm gonna go into um, object mode so I'll just hit tab right click and then select smooth and that's looking quite good now the reason I would do it this way just for rather than sort of using a modified uh, sphere say and dragging it out is that as I said at the beginning if I go into um, wireframe view glass usually is thicker here than it is on the edge so you can do it a much more accurate um, shape because you'll have more time than I allow for um, these tutorials but that is what I would do and you don't get a problem with tube effects here as well so it's not looking too bad for this tutorial okay so all I would do now and I'm not going to go into rendering or anything but just to uh, give it a finish is come up to um, the render properties button select EV and then select cycles um, I tend to um, select color management and change from filmic to standard that's not so important 
and with your glass selected now select your um, material properties button looks like a little world select new and select principled BSDF then glass and I'm going to press Z and select rendered and right now you'll find that your glass is a bit sort of frosty to get rid of this problem just drag the roughness down to zero and obviously you can put a color to your glass if you want by moving this so I'm not going to go into any more details that is how I would um, create a glass shape or any cylinder shape but it needs to have uh, certainly um, a different size here say and uh, also a step at the bottom which you can't see right now but it is there here this area here um, and like I said you'll have a more time to create a more um, not advanced but a more accurate shape so to keep this um, short I'll leave it there hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers